Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. In this video, I am going to be reacting to Jam Session number 217 with Overdub by Tony L. Benson. Tony L. Benson is my father. He actually paid me $7 to do a reaction video, um, and he had a few notes that he wanted me to share with you guys before I did the video. Um, so he wanted to let you guys know that this song that he made is a cover of Prince's Rock Hard in a Funky Place. And he also wants me to make sure that I add a comment to his video that directs people to my reaction. Okay, so I'll make sure to do that. Um, so the title of that Prince song is kind of weird, Rock Hard in a Funky Place. It's like a play on um, stuck between like a rock and a hard place, but also seems to be like a reference to like an erection or whatever. And in a funky place, is it about being like hard in the club? Like what is, I don't really understand what the song is gonna be about, but it sounds weird. I'm also curious um, when it says that this is a song with overdub, is my dad gonna be like singing in this? Uh, I have no idea what to expect. I haven't heard the original Prince song, nor have I heard this song by dad. Uh, so let's just see what happens. Uh, we're gonna hop right into this reaction. So I'm gonna full screen it, I'm just gonna hit play. Dad's made a lot of these jam sessions. This is like number 217. It is interesting to think about. Uh, Dad has a guitar. He has a, thin a synthesizer. He has a uh, something pedal. I don't know what his pedal thing was. But he only has so many different like instruments to work with, but he finds cool ways to incorporate them all together through like editing. The overdub sounds very quiet. I'm trying to turn up my volume. So my dad is singing, but he has like a, a voice modifier on, I guess. He likes to do that. He has a chipmunk thing too that he did. Electric Mama with Double Cups. Such a disgrace, rock hard in a funky place. Is it a bad thing that he's erect? Also, an Electric Mama with Double Cups, I guess, is an interesting line. Talking about, I guess, a fine girl with large titties. Double cup in the modern day now is normally referred to um, as being like lean, like drinking like uh, like cough syrup mixed with like soda or whatever. When people say double cup. Oh gosh, the song is literally about not being able to concentrate on asking at a girl because you have an erection because she's hot. I feel like the overdub is a little quiet. Like, I feel like it could have been mixed as being a little bit louder. Because right now, I do feel like the music kind of drowns it out a little bit. Um, but I do think it's interesting that double cup can be used to talk about how thick a girl is. Um, but it also, in the modern day, is used to refer to lean. Uh, which, so yeah, like thick and lean. Like, you could do like a modern play on words using lyrics like that in a song. Also, my dad, instead of having an actual record scratch in his song, is saying wiki wiki with like a um, modifier on his voice that makes it like higher, which is interesting. I'm surprised he doesn't uh, crab scratch, which is a like beatboxing term, where essentially you kind of suck air in in like a vacuum way. And instead of going like wiki wiki, you could be like, like you could just make the sound. You could just make it go like, Like you can just make the sound that sounds like a record scratch with your mouth. Um, so that was dad's jam session. Jam session number 217 with overdub. Uh, uh let's see. So here are my here are my honest thoughts on the song. I think that he should um increase the volume on the vocals. 
uh, because I do think the overdub gets a little, um, it doesn't feel like an overdub. It feels like an underdub. Like it feels under the music. I know that it's not supposed to overpower the music, but I don't feel like it was necessarily very clear uh, what he was saying. Um, the subject matter of the song doesn't really have a lot to do with anything because he's doing a cover of a song. So I will say the subject matter uh, was surprisingly inappropriate uh, when it comes to like a video from my dad, I guess. Um, I do raps on my channel all the time that are fairly Dad will be like, oh, I don't want to hear you talking about stuff like that. So it's interesting for dad to then do a song. Uh, I know it's a cover, but still where he's talking about like, can't concentrate because my dick's so hard kind of thing. Very unexpected. Um, well, let's see. But not too unexpected based on the title of the song. So uh, that's fair. Um... I like the different like combination of different instruments that uh, dad can do because essentially uh, when thinking about like how he creates stuff like this, he's more or less saying like, okay, so I'm going to play the guitar part and then I got to like play the keyboard part and then I have to like add like the different like vocals and effects. Like you can tell he put work into it and he put it all together into like a solid performance. If you guys like stuff like this, definitely feel free to check out his channel. This channel is Tony L. Benson. I'll have a link to this video in the description box below. Um, Dad has like some weirder songs that if he paid me, I would be interested in reacting to because I think you guys would kind of like it, to be honest. Like it would just be kind of like an oddity kind of thing. He has at least one where he plays as like a squirrel. I think he plays as a squirrel and he makes himself have like a weird squirrely voice. And he says like, fuck Alvin and the Chipmunk. Like it's an Alvin and the Chipmunks diss track from a squirrel made by my dad. So there's like, there's weirder stuff on here that I think would be interesting to share with you guys. Um, he also has a song that I remember uh, dad asked me my thoughts on it. And I said, it sounded like, sci-fi like dolphin sex or whatever it's a song that he made like years ago both of those are uh that i remember from like my childhood uh but dad has like some weirder stuff i would say this was fairly tame compared to that but also he's come a long way since then when it comes to incorporating multiple different instruments and doing overdubs and stuff like that um overall yeah, it was an another dad song um what do you guys think? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and on our Discord. Speaking of the Discord, if you guys have any video ideas, feel free to send them over to me on the Discord. Um, and if I like your idea, I'll make it a reality, but I'll charge you for it. I charge $7 per hour length of the video with a $7 minimum. Also, if you guys just want to help support the channel, feel free to donate to our Cash App. Link also in the description box below. Definitely appreciate any and all donations. Um, definitely feel free to check out my dad's channel if you liked what you saw here and you want to see more, or if you want to check out any of those like weirder songs uh, that I mentioned before, because they're also on here as well. Um, and yeah, thank you all for tuning in. If you guys like AI Dungeon 2 videos, definitely make sure you smash that subscribe button, because I do AI Dungeon 2 videos every day. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Life One Only, logging out. Peace, guys. Check it out.